Hi, I'm Scott with the Garmin Aviation Team, and welcome to the virtual AirVenture Oshkosh Experience. Today we're going to talk about the G1000 NXI, a popular upgrade from the G1000 Integrated Flight Deck. With G1000 NXI, there are several reasons to upgrade. Let's look at a few. You get a new warranty with the displays, and your enablements that you currently use with G1000 will transfer. You have brighter displays. You have enhanced graphics, so fonts, letters, and numbers for easier readability. The displays initialize within seconds upon startup. You also have built-in growth capability with dual-core processors and increased memory. Faster and modern processing power that supports faster map rendering and smoother panning throughout the displays. It's an easy upgrade path. You have the same footprint as previous displays that are pin-to-pin -pin compatible. Let's look at some of the new features of the G1000 NXI. We'll start off with Surface Watch, which is runway alert and monitoring technology. So if we take a look here, we've got a flight plan. Uh, we're gonna file from New Century Air Center in here in Olathe, Kansas to uh, Wichita. So we can come up here to our flight plan page and we can put in what runway we wanted to part off of, which is a new feature with NXI. So if I scroll down and I put in runway 18 that we're gonna depart on, let's say the winds are coming out of the south, we'll enter that and we see we've got runway 18. We'll scroll down here to our destination in Wichita, and we will put in K, I, C, T, which is our destination, and then we'll turn the cursor off. That's our active flight plan. And let's go back to the main map page. We can hit the clear key, and then if we take our range button, we can see here on our moving flight display that the outline of the runway is in blue. That lets us know that we put in runway 18. So if we get taxiing out, it's, it's nighttime, it's foggy, it's low visibility, and you're at an unfamiliar airport. If you don't get lined up on runway 18, let's say for example, you come over here and you get lined up on runway 22, when you get lined up on the center line of the runway, the airplane's gonna let you know, it's gonna, you're gonna get an oral enunciation, it's gonna say, check runway, check runway. So it lets you know that you're taking off on the wrong runway. It's great for situational awareness. It gives you more information in a high volume terminal traffic area. Conversely, if you're coming into land, let's say you're coming into land on runway 18, you load an approach in there, the, out, the runway is gonna be outlined in blue and you get lined up on 22. It's gonna tell you, check runway, check runway. Also, when you're coming into land on runway 18, as you get closer and closer to the runway, you'll get enunciations over here on the left side of the PFD that'll say approaching runway 18. And as you get closer, about three miles out, it'll say three miles out, two miles out. And then when you land, it will count down the distance remaining on the runway as you roll out. So it's great for situational awareness, gives you a lot more information, particularly when you're flying into an unfamiliar airport. That's surface watch. Now let's talk about the Flightstream 510 for G1000XI, wireless cockpit connectivity. So if we take a look at our kiosk here, we have in the aux chapter on the connect setup page, we have our Bluetooth and we have our wireless here on our MFD. And in the lower slot of the MFD is our Flightstream 510, which is a multimedia card. So the Flightstream 510 serves two functions. First, it has Bluetooth which enables you to do flight plan transfer from an iPad compatible app to the flight deck. So you're at home the night before your flight, you're doing your pre-flight planning, you put in your flight plan on your iPad, you come out to the airplane the next day, the weather looks good, you're ready to go, we power up the airplane and we can Bluetooth from this card from our iPad with our Garmin Pilot app to the flight deck. So we can push that flight plan from our iPad into the flight deck. So let's say we're flying along and we're on an IFR clearance and ATC gives us a new flight plan. Well, we can go into the flight deck and we can change our flight plan, our new routing, and then it's a two-way transfer. So we will get a pop-up notification on our iPad that says, hey, your flight has changed. Do you want to accept or reject? So you can accept that flight plan and then your flight plan in your iPad will match the change that you made in your flight deck. Okay, second great feature of Flightstream 510 is the ability to do Update your databases wirelessly through the Flightstream 510. So if you manage your databases on flygarmin.com, you take the, the databases, they are pushed from flygarmin.com to the iPad via Garmin Pilot, 
then you can go into the iPad and use the database concierge, and then when there's updates available, you will get a notification on the flight deck, and it will tell you that you have databases ready to update, and you can accept or reject them. So for review, the FlightStream Flight 10 performs two functions. It has Bluetooth to do flight plan transfer between your iPad, Garmin Pilot app, and the flight deck, and then also you have the ability to do database transfer via wirelessly through the FlightStream 510 card. Another feature of G1000NXI is the HSI map. If we take a look at our kiosk here, we see a traditional HSI that most pilots are used to flying with. So now what we can do is we can take what we actually see on our MFD and we can overlay it on this HSI here, thus it's an HSI map. So if I come down here to the soft keys along the PFD, I have map slash HSI. I can hit layout. I can turn on HSI map. And you can see that I have all this information in my primary field of vision that I normally have on the MFD. So I can come down here and I can put obstacles, terrain, traffic, Cirrus XM weather, all on this HSI map, depending on how your aircraft is configured. Now, one thing that is different than the traditional HSI map is that you have your CDI on the top of the HSI, whereas before your CDI is in the center on your HSI. Let's look at the IFR and VFR charts, another new feature on G1000 NXI. So if we come over here to our MFD, I go to the back knob here where I have a list of all my chapters. I can take the inner, inner knob and I can scroll down to IFR, VFR charts. So I can range this in and out. Airplane is geo-referenced on the chart. Okay, then if I want IFR low, I can hit the IFR low soft key. and It'll flip over to IFR low. Then if I go to IFR high, it'll slip, flip over to the IFR high charts. And again, I can range them down as small or as large as I want to see. And again, the charts are geo-referenced. These can be updated on your FlyGarmin dot com account with the rest of your Garmin databases. Another enhanced feature on G1000XI is the three color terrain shading. If we look at our kiosk, we can go down to our terrain page on the MFD. Original G1000, we had two color terrain shading. We had yellow and we had red. Now we have three color terrain shading. We have green, we have yellow, and we have red with improved contouring. So the green is 2,000 feet, the yaw is 1,000 feet, and the red is 100 feet. And then you can come to the PFD and you can turn on your HSI map and you can also put relative terrain on your soft key at the bottom and you'll get the same color shading in your primary field of vision as you get on your MFD. That's three color terrain shading with G1000 and XI. Another exciting feature of G1000XI is the ability to fly a visual approach. So let's go to the kiosk and we'll hit our procedure key just like you would a normal approach. We'll hit select approach. We'll take the back knob. We'll scroll down until we find the visual approach for the runway that we want to fly. In this case, at Kansas City International at 19 left. We'll hit enter and we can either do vectors or straight in. We'll select vectors and then we'll go ahead and activate this approach and hit OK and then our approach is loaded in there, we can come back to the main map page and you can see our course line that's drawn out for this visual approach. And in this case, I can couple the autopilot to it, select approach mode. So we've got GPS and glide path armed and we can fly this visual approach with a three degree glide slope all the way to the runway. Okay, let's take a look of, at VSD on G1000 NXI, which stands for Vertical Situation Display. So if we go to our MFD on our flight deck, we can come down to the row of soft keys here and we have map option. So I push the map option key, then we have an inset button. So we'll push inset, and then you'll see down here the, the acronym VSD, turn it on, and then you'll get a nice profile view of your flight plan as you're flying along either at altitude or down low. Very beneficial if you're flying in mountainous terrain, like in this example, we're in Aspen, Colorado. As you can fly an approach, you get a nice profile view of your terrain, and you have your fixes along your flight plan. So that's VSD, Vertical Situation Display. 
An option available for G1000NXILM select aircraft models is the GTX 345 transponder. The GTX 345 transponder provides both ADS-B out and in, so you're able to get FIS-B weather and traffic from the ground stations and air-to-air -air traffic via other ADS-B participating aircraft. So if we take a look at our MFD here, we can go to our dedicated traffic page, and we have our ADS-B on here. So also, you can have motion, different types of motion with the GTX 345. We have relative motion and we have absolute motion. So if we put it on relative motion, it actually shows you the threat of the other aircraft in relation to the heading of your aircraft. Okay, we can cut to the next traffic. We can go over here to this and it shows you the same information, course, ground speed, track, and closure rate, et cetera. It's a great tool to show you the relationship of your aircraft to the traffic threat that's approaching you. That's the GTX 345. This is our Garmin patented technology called Target Trend. Aircraft eligible for G1000 and G1000 NXI are the following. The Cessna NAV-3 models, Cessna 172, 182, 206, Beechcraft Baron, Bonanza, TBM 850-900, the Cessna Mustang, the Phenon 100, the King Air C90, B200, and B300 series. Expect availability in the future for the Phenon 300 and the Piper Meridian. For more information on G1000 NXI, features and benefits, contact your local Garmin dealer or visit Garmin.com.